They have the power to unleash some of the world's worst weather. Oh, this is awesome. And fill the same sky with wonder. Turns out clouds even have a fan club. We have over 30,000 members now in, in 94 countries around the world. Gavin Preter Pinney is founder of the Cloud Appreciation Society. Cloud spotters who treat the skies like a sport, snapping and sharing photos on their website and Facebook page. And they think they're onto something thanks to several unusual sightings. And every now and then some of these clouds would come in. I never quite know what to call them. With the help of a Latin professor, they came up with Undulatus aspiratus, meaning roughened waves. And now they want to make it official in the next edition of the World Meteorological Organization's International Cloud Atlas. We really need a lot more of these photographs um, to make some sense of it. Certainly we're on the case and we think there's something interesting here. Researchers at the University of Reading in the UK have been using weather balloon data and computer modeling to study the cloud and think there might be a case. Initial research has shown you wouldn't find aspiratus on a nice day like this. The clouds seem to prefer severe weather. We found that they are often um, associated with convective activity and convective storm activity and also in some cases with cold air coming from the north. One of the biggest challenges figuring out where the clouds are located in order to gather timely weather data. Tracking them might soon become easier. The Cloud Appreciation Society is developing an app for that. I'm meteorologist Julie Martin, The Weather Channel.